Hi, crafters. Amy here with Amy's Wares, and I have a sassy coffee card to share with you using new goodies from the April release set of Colorful Life Designs. Now, this is the layered cup stencil. It's a six by six. As you can see, there's one layer with the cups and one with the design. I apologize. I know it's hard to see on my light colored work surface. Uh, and I also have this gorgeous new coffee stamp. Now, here's a photo of the finished card, and I'm also going to show you a photo of what you can make with this new stamp set because there's so many different mix and match combinations for coffee related goodness so the entire release is not coffee related there's quite a few for coffee um, and tea and then there's also plenty that are just geometric and cool and great for year-round usage so to start I'm going to um, do the base layer with the cups and I'm counting how many lines because I'm automatically thinking rainbow which I'm sure you're shocked <laughs> but I'm just going to use this two inch post-it tape just to kind of mask off and go row by row. Now on the initial base layer I'm just going to use residual ink that's already on my blending brushes because I want that to be lighter in color and then I'll come in with a little bit more um, pigmented or a heavy hand for the decorative um, second layer. So I'm just going to work down in rainbow order using these two pieces over and over again of masking tape. Um, you can use them several times before you need to pitch them. So just kind of flipping them as I go um, as to not contaminate the color above it. But this really doesn't take all that long. You could also just use, you know, a piece of paper, um, an extra piece of scrap cardstock if you don't have masking tape. But with them being straight lines like this, it's really easy to kind of mask off the areas that you, you know, are working on. Now I could have probably even saved more time rather than um, doing this in two layers. I could have probably just lined up my second layer on top of it and kind of cut a lot of time out of this process. So that's a little tip if I were to do it again um, after I'm done with this initial base layer I could then line up the second layer right on top of it and then just quick do the second layer real quick. So that's a way to save some time but either way it's all you know fun doing the process so it's not, it's not a big deal. Now I'm coming in with the blue and then ultimately the purple. So the purple isn't getting left behind here. It's the full rainbow. We're going to get it all covered. Um, I guess technically mine is the indigo, but a basic rainbow. You get the idea. <laughs> anyway, so I get this first base layer done. I'm going to pull this back. Now this would be cool on its own. You don't even need the second layer, so that's an optional step. But this is such cool little detailed things that you get to put on each cup. You could also do it different colors. Um, lots of different options. So I'm going for a monochromatic look. So on the red um, with the lighter base layer, I'm just going to come in with more pigmented but still in that red color family just to do the second base layer here. So to tell you more about this release, um, the stamp I'm really excited about. I actually got to help design it um, and basically I, when I was looking at it and knowing that you know we only had a three by four surface to work with for the stamp set, I wanted to get the most bang for the buck. So that's why a lot of the stamps on this stamp set are actually separate because coffee is in so many of them. We didn't want to have to incorporate the actual word into every little combination. So by doing it separate, not only can you kind of dictate how you want the layout to be, whether it's in, you know, a straight line or whether it's more rectangular shape, but that way we could incorporate more different more different phrases as options. So you can really customize this and mix and match the different components on the stamp set to create different sayings. So you could say, you know, no talkie before coffee on this one, or um, want to hear a joke? Decaf, or mama needs coffee, or girl needs coffee, or coffee mama, or coffee girl and you could just kind of you know you get the idea you can mix and match all these different phrases for your cards and just get a lot of a lot of use out of it even though it's just a smaller you know three by four sentiment stamp set so it's really fun I'm really excited that I got to kind of help her um, 
you know, design this and now I get to play with it. So it's great. <laughs> anyway, if you do decide you want the entire collection, Mary Kay at the shop does offer what's called a master creator bundle. And I will link that in the video description box below. And what that will get you is 20% off the entire release. So you can't use my coupon on top of it because it's already so heavily discounted. But if you do want it all, you can get it all for 20% off. Now, um, if you want just certain components of it, then definitely use my coupon AmyFan10 at checkout, and then you'll save 10% on your complete order there. So here you can see I'm using three different stamps, and it's no talky before coffee. So you could also change it to, um, you could mask it off and, and say, or you could do before coffee, no talky. You can kind of switch it up. So I just like the no talky before coffee. I feel like... Um, truer things have never been spoken <laughs> and it's not wise to try and talk to me before I've had coffee so I'm not I'm not exactly a pleasant person in the morning um, my family knows this so if I haven't had coffee at least one cup then it's best maybe just not to talk to me or look at me or um, yeah just kind of pretend I'm not there until I've gotten some coffee because I don't I don't reanimate in the morning prior to having that magic brown liquid. I just, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not really present until then. So I love this release. Um, I'm a big coffee drinker and uh, yeah, it's just fun. I like these snarky cards. I like sending them to my fellow coffee drinking friends. And uh, yeah, so I hope you'll enjoy it too. So here I'm rounding off the corners. This is just nice and flat, single layer, easy to ship. Um, I wouldn't say this is probably one that's easy to batch. I guess it could be if you didn't mask off every layer like I did. Um, if you're just going to do a simple ink blending and do like a rainbow wash over it without being concise on every layer, then yeah, you could totally do it super fast. Um, but here what I've done is I've just used a little piece of mint tape just to kind of cover up the sentiment lightly. I didn't press it down really hard. I'm just kind of covering it up because I know I want to do some black ink splatter and that's just a way to kind of tie in the black stamping because the black is so stark and so contrasted against that colorful background that I wanted to bring in one more black element into this otherwise simple card. So I'm just using some watercolor from Yuli. That's my little um, my little watercolor set there that I probably should have closed because I'm getting black splatter all over the place including on that poor little you know, that poor little watercolor set. And it even got on the back of my card. Yay me. So this is my way of fixing this. I cleaned off my work surface so I didn't get the splatter on the inside of the card because I definitely didn't want it there. But um, I'm fixing my mistake by doing some splatter on the back of the card as well. So it looks intentional, even though you and I know it's not. Don't tell, okay? It wasn't intentional. But it looks like it was, so that's what matters. And that's going to finish my card. I added a little bit of blingage, but other than that, very simple. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. And be sure to check out the rest of this release. There's loads of cool, snarky, funny coffee stuff, tea stuff, and like I said, just general non-coffee related goodness as well. So thanks for spending time with me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.